Hello, um, I'm doing this little video just to show you how to do a really, really quick version of taking a still image and um, animating it. Um, as some of you will know, I am recreating uh, Missing Doctor Who episodes and quite a lot of people have asked me how to do it. Now I'm hoping that some of you will watch this video and it will inspire you to also do videos for me to watch. So I'm gonna make it as basic as possible. This will be the first video. Um, leave comments um, and I will get back to you. Maybe do another video where I show you how to do things a little bit more complicated and a little bit more advanced. But this is the absolute, absolute basics. I'm not even gonna to go too much into things like where I got photographs from and how to render them, but I'm just gonna talk you through the absolute basics. And I do hope this is useful. So first of all, um, I've got my files. I've got an audio file and I've got a picture. What I tend to do is I take the pictures and I make them um, clearer and bigger, but I will show you how to do that at another date. And the first thing I'll do is I will take the photograph and I will animate it in an artificial intelligence program. There's quite a few out there. Um, Runway is absolutely brilliant. Um, another good one that I like to use is Pika Labs. Now at the moment, Pika Labs is just um, beta. So you have to kind of contact them and you can do this through uh, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I think you can even email them directly. I think I did mine through Twitter and they got back to me a couple of days later and they gave me a login um, just to, so I could use Pika Labs. Now this, one thing you find about um, artificial intelligence, it's not gonna be the great be all and end all, but the, the results are really promising, especially if you've done any animation. So basically um, what I would say is you go forward slash here, create, and then you click on more and that's when you go to your image and you take your image because I like to save everything on my hard drives okay and I will take my picture here we go and we will open then I'll put a prompt in now um, thing about prompts is sometimes they don't work straight away the backgrounds start moving and stuff so you may have to go over it and over it and over it a few times this is where the artificial intelligence doesn't have it all singing and dancing so i might say a uh, woman uh, moves dramatically okay so i'll press enter and then basically wait i'll just speed this bit up Okay, so um, this is my rendered um, video, and it takes about a minute or so, and we'll see what it looks like. And, oh, not bad, she's blinking, and she's just moving, but it's not really what I want, to be honest with you. We'll have a little look at that again. It's okay. What I might do is I'm just gonna re-render that. Um, sometimes it's good to go a click down or a click up, um, I'm not overly keen with that. I want there to move dramatically. I mean, she kind of nodded and sort of like, you know, just blinked a little bit. So I might go here and just change. So woman moves dramatically. And sometimes it's quite good to put thinking, swaying. The trouble with swaying is sometimes it sways the background. So we'll just have a little look at that and see if that's any better. Okay, so if we have a look at this version, this is a little better. If we have a little look at it, there we go. Not much, but she's kind of looking more to the side. So that's a little better. Um, we could maybe have a little look through. I just did a, another recap. And again, when we kind of look at this one, yeah, again, not a lot goes on there. And this is the thing about artificial intelligence. You're having to kind of always put in lots and lots of prompts to get it to work. Now, I think for me, I quite like this one here. So I think we'll use this version, okay? So, because she is moving quite nicely there. So I'm going to download that. Okay, now, this is where I will then take this file. Now I've got Premiere here. It's quite an old version of Premiere. And I will take, uh, let's have a quick look, talk to here. And I will take my video that I've just created in AI. 
and then I will take my audio file. Okay, now this is where the magic starts to happen. Okay, so I will put my audio file in. Let's make that a bit bigger. Now you don't have to use Premiere, you could use pretty much any video editing software. Okay, and I'm just going to pop that in there. Now, the video is literally being. Well, I have given no cause for his attention. Okay. It is a short, short, short video, okay? Got it there. And when we look back at it, if you look, just double check to make sure the size is okay. Yeah, that pretty much fills up the screen. And I am going to export that. Gonna make a nice video file, HD4. So basically what I've done is, I've put together the video and the moving image, okay? So, not looking too bright at the moment, but this is where... Now, I like to always try and name things. I'm going to call this Joe before, because it's before I do my final bit. So I'm going to save that, okay? Save, and I'm going to export that video. Okay. And then I'm going to go to this rather nifty little program called Wav to Lips. Now, for some reason, this is quite tricky to find. So what I will do, I will put a link to this um, in the comments, okay? Now, this is where you have to really pay attention. First of all, you have to click number one right at the top. Okay. And it says run anyway, and it takes about a minute. Again, I'll speed it up for you. Okay, and when you see this, it says sex for the um, installed FF, MPEG, Python 0, 0, whatever. That's when you know the program has downloaded. Now, that little circle buffering there, just ignore that. Now, this is where you need to pay attention. That was number one. So it has number two. That's if you want to load something from YouTube. And this is number three, select audio. And this is number four, start crunching preview audio. But you don't want those ones. You want to go to this one. So it's like one two, three, four, and then you go to step two, which is afterwards. I've made this mistake quite a few times. So that's if you want to do it from YouTube. That's not the best using YouTube. Um, I would suggest you either use your Gmail, uh, so like your online account, like a G drive, or you actually use your computer. I'm a bit old school. I still quite like to have everything on my computer. I just think it runs a bit faster. So you choose your file. So that's from something else I was doing. Where's my desktop? Yeah. See, and that's where it's really important to label things correctly because I've got all these files now. But I know Joe before, that is definitely the one I wanted. So we just wait a second while that uploads. Should be quite quick. It's only a small file. Okay, so that's there. Now what we need to do is, see it says select audio. Now, you don't actually need a WAV or an MP3. This is the fun bit. You can just choose the same file. Look, Joe before, and it will actually extract a WAV file or an MP3 or a sound file. I can't remember which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's a WAV file. It will extract it for you. And, I, and when I started doing this, I was constantly making the WAV file separately. And then I saw a little video, and this guy pretty much told me how to do that. So there you go. As you can see, a WAV file has been made. Then at the end, you crunch that video. Okay, and once you've clicked your crunch button, you should eventually have this video right here. If I just click here, hopefully. Well, I have given no cause for his attention. There we go. We actually have a nicely rendered AI image with lip syncing. And what I do here is I just right click it and I save video as. And as I said, you've got to make sure with my desktop, there we go, Doctor Who. I will always call it, for example, maybe final. So I'll call it Joe Final. So I'll know that that's the final video I'll make for Joe. And then what I will do, I will take that video, I will pop it back into my video editor. And when I pop it in, it should fit perfectly. Sometimes it's just a little shorter, because it will go right up to the three seconds. But if we look, 
Okay, I need to just render that very quickly. Sequence. Render effects in work area. Oh, I have given no forward for his attention. And then, for example, if I had a great big long bit of dialogue between different people, cutting between scenes, then what I would do is I'd keep bringing them in. And um, like, like, for example, on Premiere, I can unlink the original video, take that out, take out my original AI. And as I said, we've got our original track here. And all I need to do... <laughs> Is keep doing that and building up so if I could have a whole audio file of the story I get my pictures and I just keep dropping them in a little bit at a time as I said it's not perfect and um, it's not as straightforward as um, it looks but I do hope this was useful um, I would suggest probably one of the better things to do would be to get a bunch of you together to do it. I find, um, because, you know, I have a home life, I have my children, um, I'd be lucky to get maybe about 25 to 30 seconds a day if I spend an hour or two at it, um, because there's a lot of trial and error with this. Um, I do really enjoy it. I'm really pleased with the results I've got, but I would suggest if there's a whole bunch of you that could do this in a chunk. I mean, for example, if there was 10 people like me, we could get an episode done a week, to be honest with you, all of us doing two and a half minutes each. That's what I would suggest, um, excuse me, what I would really, really suggest not to do is to get very excited and put just a few bits up um, because I feel that the, the YouTube is just littered with people doing the first minute of, um, say, Marco Polo or something. No disrespect to them because usually it's great stuff and then they don't do any more because it's, um, it's a bit of a grind. You do the first minute or two and you sit there and think, oh, this is fantastic, I'm going to do the whole thing. And before you know it, months and months goes by, it's easily done. So I suggest really get your head down and think, right, let's try and do a whole episode together. Because I'd really love to see it personally. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. And I said, I do hope you found this really useful. Do drop um, anything you want to ask me in the comments. And I will do things which are a bit more difficult, like, you know, um, for example, having two characters talk. Sometimes when the character is tilted, it will kind of have him speaking at the side of the mouth. I will show you how to get around all that. It's a lot more complicated how to do it. But I do hope, as I said once again, that this was useful. And please do drop me a line and let me know what you thought. And please do ask me any questions that I will try to help. OK, thank you. Oh, I have given no cause for his attention. The Ladin sends me presents of fruit and snow when I am sick, and now his brother decorates you with his jewels. Yet with our armies do we both lock in deadly combat, watering the land with a rain of blood, and the noise of thunder is drowned in the shouts of dying men. Your heart calls for England, Richard. Aye, it does. Is there no kind of peace with Saladin? All wise men look for peace. The terms of peace make wise men look fools. I would have Ascalon, but Saladin fears that if he give me that town, then I will invade Egypt, and nothing I can say can make him change his mind. How this jewel radiates the light. So, Saladin desires my sister. But surely you and Saladin have some common meeting ground, Richard? Joanna. Safadin. Now take this and tell me where the woman is. No, and bring her to me.